I'm going to take you through how we made a game in one week as five strangers. I'll show you how we made the game from the drama to the gameplay and then why we had to make it in one week. On day one, the team was made up of me, Justin Six. Find yourself enjoying the video. Don't forget to like. Press the like button. A game dev and programmer who's been making games for 10 years. Yorn, a 3D artist. Hell Caesar, another 3D artist. Joey, a musician and sound effects expert. And another programmer who will not be named, which will be explained later. First, we needed to know what kind of game we were going to make. So we hopped into a Discord call and brainstormed different ideas. In the end, we decided to make a game where you play as a streamer and have to go into the many different modes that streamers go into while streaming. From gaming mode, to gambling mode, to even silly things like hot tub mode. The basic idea is just to make little mini games that you can alternate between, each one representing activities that popular streamers do. I created this beautiful paint drawing to represent the flow of gameplay, where you're going in and out of mini games, and the stream view where you can see the chat responding to how you're doing in the games. We broke up the tasks with Bjorn focusing on modeling famous streamers, the character models, Hell Caesar or Nick, the other artist working on props for their streamer room and games, me focused on making kind of spoof version of Fall Guys as a mini game, and a spoof version of Gambling Slots as a mini game, and the other programmer wanted to work on Mario Kart. Well, our version of Mario Kart as a mini game. Throughout the first day, I was streaming myself working on the game. This Fall Guy game is uh, very bad. That's fair. Right. <clears throat> I think uh, I think I might just leave it very bad though. <laughs> with Bjorn and Nick hopping in and out of call, Bjorn being there for most of the stream, while they also worked on things. This is terrifying. What's terrifying? My XQC. Nice. Look. Oh my god, bro. Uh. It looks like a skip. So I was able to show off myself programming and working on the games, as well as Bjorn and Nick's progress working on models. At the end of the day, we got bad news. The pr other programmer realized they had too much work at university and decided they could no longer participate and help with programming on this game, leaving us with four people and me as the only developer and programmer. Day two, I posted looking for a new programmer to bring our team back to five people. I got a couple promising DMs from people with good portfolios. One even had worked at Blizzard. But when I expanded to them on the idea of the game that we were making, they all said no to joining and helping us make this game. Doesn't that bother you? I continued working on the game on day two, as well as live streaming to Twitch. As the other programmer was gone, who had originally said they would make the Mario Kart parody game, I decided to make the Mario Kart game myself, and finished it pretty much on day two, at least the core mechanic. I also fixed the Fall Guys parody mini game that I was making for the game. I also realized that the paint drawing was maybe not the clearest way to explain the vision of the game to people, both on my team and people tuning into the live stream, or people watching this video right now. So I made a new graphic explaining the general game flow and idea using Canva, and I started working working on the overall systems that handle the flow of the game, going in between streamer mode, the streamer activities, as well as the mini games. Bjorn finished the model for XQC and started on the model for Ethan from H3H3. Nick or Hell Caesar also finished the Pickle Rick model. At the end of the day, a new programmer messaged me and they seemed down to join the project and they seemed down to work on the gambling minigame that I had kind of been putting off finishing and working on. So they joined our team and we were once again at five members at the end of day two. At the start of day three, most of the props for the streamer room and for the activities for the streamers were finished by Hell Caesar. So I started playing around with different animations with the XQC and Ethan models, which were also both done at this point. They were looking hella thick, so I made sure to show them off dancing in the hot tub. They shake him like <laughs> Yeah. He didn't ask for it. He did not. Damn, XQC is ready to throw down. <laughs> he is. They love each other now. The drama is squished. No more drama between Ethan and XQC. I do want the pickle in them. My Twitch viewers did not approve. Regardless, I added various little animations and activities that you can do in the streamer room. I finished up the general flow of the game and basically brought it to a playable state where you can choose between three activities, do the activity itself, whether it be the Mario Kart parody or dancing in the hot tub, and then go back to streamer view, where later I'll add a fake streamer chat, and then you go back into picking three from three activities again, and then you just loop on that. So at the end of day three, the game was in a playable state. I made a build and I sent it to the rest of the team. Day four and five, and six, and seven of the week, all taken up by the fact that I had to move. And then it, everything changed. If you've seen any of my other YouTube videos, then you know that this background is different. 
because I'm currently in my new place right now as I'm filming. Me moving and the fact that I even now don't have internet and I got food poisoning meant that this video is coming out the, a week later and that development pretty much halted. I had about three days of development and that was it. That doesn't bother you. But the artist kept working on the game, and so I put in a little bit of time in between moving and dealing with stuff to implement their new art, and I'll show gameplay of basically the end state of the game after the week now. Oh my god. Okay, now we're Vape Nation, bro. Vape Nation, bro. Now looking good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's even taunted. Yeah. Oh, Mark aren't like... So yeah, I was gonna see how I'm coming out. No more refresh. This is it. This is it. This is what we want. What's up with the There's wheels, premium though? Premium gameplay. What do you mean? That's how the wheels are in Mario Kart. Haven't you played Mario Kart? The wheels are like this in Mario Kart? She is the ultimate gaslight gatekeeping girl boss. So why are we making this game? But why? It's for Donkey's Big Mode Game Jam with the theme Mode. Which is why we're making a game about playing famous streamers, because streamers have to go into different modes, from gaming to tubbing to gambling. Next week is the deadline for the game jam, so I'll be working on it up until that point. I've got a deadline to me. Deadline? What are you talking about? And I'll put out another video next week on this YouTube channel that will go over the final version of the game. If you want to see how the game turns out, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you. Uh, normally I tell you to comment something down below if you finished the video, but I- That's it! That's it! <laughs>